channel if you guys already didn't know my name is Morgan and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a s a banana muffins with like a cinnamon and sugar topping so yeah let's get into so that what you're gonna want is two eggs half a cup of either vegetable or canola oil I believe one teaspoon of vanilla extract I'll double check that half a teaspoon of both cinnamon and salt and you're gonna want one teaspoon of baking soda Two thirds cup of mashed bananas. This was for me was about one and a half bananas. Uh, one and two thirds cup of all purpose flour, and then two thirds cup of um, granulated sugar, and that's all you're gonna need for our banana cinnamon muffin recipe. So my head's gonna be cut off for like half of this, but take a medium bowl. Hold on, so you guys can see better, and then you're gonna add in your oil, your sugar. And then your two eggs, so like this. There's one, and then I'll put that right there, and then there's two. And then you're gonna take a metal whisk, like so, and then you're gonna whisk, hold on, everything's gonna about to fall off, let me, and just whisk everything together. So it should look something. So it starts to look something like this. Just twist everything together. So after everything is well combined, it should kind of have look like a custard consistency. You guys can kind of see, but like a custard consistency. And then you're gonna add in your banana. So this is two thirds cup of mashed banana. banana. And then you're gonna add in, hold on, I need to dump our baking soda in with our flour. And then one teaspoon of vanilla, like so. I feel like that's a lot of vanilla, but we'll see. And then go ahead and mix this up very well, like so. And then try to get, I'm trying to get the lumps of banana out. Um, so yeah. So after you're done, it should kind of, hold on, I have to show you guys because it's like kind of messy, but it should look something like that. Hopefully you all can see. It should look something like so. And then what we're going to do is you're going to add in your cinnamon and salt. So there's mine. And then add, also add your baking soda. I just had to add mine with my two thirds cup of flour. And make sure you flour it, wait, you spoon it and then you properly level it out. And then just combines all that. So I'll come back when that's done. And that's the entire, putting the entire recipe together. So it should be a super thick batter, as you can tell. And then get two baking sheets out. And then we're just gonna Okay, so once you have your two baking sheets, take some, um, like, spray, like, Pam or canola oil or, like, whatever. I'm using, what, non-GMO canola oil from Costco. And spray it thoroughly in the sink instead of using liners. And then you're gonna, you might want to, like, flip them to get it on the corners because I don't know how much this will stick. And then just strip the heat with the other one, and then <coughs> like this. Just like in the sink. Okay, like so. And then scoop your batter and then preheat your oven to 375. And then I'm just gonna take this um, Faberware or Faber, yeah, maybe Faberware. I don't know what the measurement on this thing is. There's like a 50 in the inside. You can kind of see it like right there. But I'm just gonna use this to scoop my batter. So here's muffins, here's one full tray, and then here's another one. And then I made a second batch of batter because I wanted to, um, because it wouldn't fill up all the way. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that, and then like I said, preheat your oven to 375, 
And then I believe we popped them in there for about 17 to 22 minutes, but I will go ahead and fact check that. So 20 minutes seemed to be the ideal time for them to cook all the way through. And I'll go ahead and stick my little thing through right there. And it does come through clean like so. So there's that. So this is 24 and then I believe I have six in the oven right now. So that's 30. I'm just gonna wait for all these to cool. And then I'll go ahead and top them with the cinnamon and sugar, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so here you're going to melt three tablespoons of butter, dip your muffin in, and then dip it into about a fourth a cup and half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a fourth cup of sugar. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed I'm very sorry that I didn't post Thursday. I'm not sure when this video will go up, but I promise it will go up eventually. Or you're watching this so I don't know when this is gonna be posted I'm very sorry I literally totally forgot to film Wednesday and Tuesday I've just been um, trying to adjust to my school schedule because we switched classes and stuff like that but make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn post notifications so I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys